guys god bless welcome back happy friday to you faith friday it is and today we're going to go through a devotion together before we do so let us say a quick prayer lord god i truly thank you for waking us up well i thank you for this amazing day i thank you for the gift of life i thank you for peace joy happiness and love lord i ask that whatever we read on today lord god that it be good to our souls. Help us to decipher the truth from falsehood. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so the devotion of today is the One Year Daily Acts of Kindness devotion. I have my NIV Jesus Bible here. So we're going to go to today's date, which is August 9th. Yes. <laughs> Days be going by so fast. I had to double check, y'all. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... The verse today is Matthew chapter 6, verse 4. That's just in case. I know a lot of people, including myself, um, most times I go ahead and read the scripture to make sure I stay within context because all devotions aren't created equal. And um, sometimes the context is missing. Let me show my view here. Okay. So Matthew 6 and 4, the gift of quarters. Give your gifts in private, and your father who sees everything will reward you. One of my husband's favorite memories is of a self-driven adventure he embarked on when he was a teenager. It was summer afternoon, and he found himself walking down the main street of a downtown area that was lined with bustling stores and restaurants and meter parking. For some reason, the why, having faded with time, his pockets were filled with quarters. And so on a whim, he began walking up and down the street, feeding expired meters. The first time he told me the story, he smiled at the memory. And when I asked him why his teenage self had decided to pay meters, his response was simple. He had the quarters in his pocket and he was able to help people avoid expensive consequences for the mere cost of 25 cents. He added how he loved the fact that he was feeding those meters secretly and that no one would know what he had done for them. In a world intent on sharing far too much on social media, I find myself struggling to strike the balance between sharing acts of kindness with others and a genuine attempt to get them to join in and the cautious set forth in Matthew 6. We are warned that publicly patting ourselves on the back for our good deeds is not pleasing to God and instead we are called to quietly meet needs, letting the knowledge of what we've done stay between us and God. It's a careful balancing act and one that requires prayer. Before I share about an act of kindness, I've learned to ask God to show me my heart's reasoning and wanting to share, trying to always keep in mind how easy it is to become prideful. While I do share some things because I want to encourage others, there are many quiet secret acts of kindness that my husband and I do, keeping it a secret between us and God. Julie, today's act of kindness. Perform a kind act secretly, taking joy in knowing that God sees what you've done. All right, so I feel like this is confirmation on something. <laughs> that uh came to my mind just earlier so i'm definitely going to do it but um yeah i hope this is something that is very easy and simple and to the point but we know what the word of god says and i don't know what translation that is but um, i like to go in my own bible and highlight so that's what i'm gonna do get this pretty pink so that was matthew chapter six and four so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So we as Christians understand that we should not be doing anything for likes, shares, public attention, for appraisal, approval. No, God is enough. He is enough to know what we have done and that it is good. And I can tell you from experience that you know, if you get the pattern on the back, that's cool. That's great. That temporarily feels good. 
but nothing compares to how God blesses you behind closed doors. Nothing. Me and my husband, more so him than me, because he is a overshare. Like he just gives, 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 gives. And sometimes I'd be like, wait, but God's working on me because even if we give and, you know, our heart, if your heart's in the right place, you'll be okay. Even if you're like, yeah, I really couldn't afford to. Because, you know, that's faith. Like, I don't know where my next 10 $20 is coming from, but I'm going to give you my last 10 $20. Like, that's faith. So, um, exercise your faith today. Um, give in secret. Bless someone. Maybe there's somebody that's been on your heart and your mind and just like, look, uh, you want my heart and mind in this editor. And this is not limited to money you know you can donate organs um obviously not so many while you're alive but you can be an organ donor where when you pass you don't know who they go to um i'm an organ donor by the way um that might be something you want to look into um or maybe there's someone who needs a kidney you know and you can do anonymous donation um you can give blood nobody has to know about that um you can volunteer at places. Um, the poor, you know, the homeless, you can do bless bags. Like, you know, nobody has to know. Um, a lot of people are, you know, consumed by social media where they just want to broadcast everything, but that is completely unnecessary. Like, keep it between you and God. Um, of course, if you're doing it as an organization or as a church group, then obviously collectively you guys know what you guys are doing. But it doesn't have to be a big major thing. Now, obviously, some things will draw attention, such as uh, things done in the community at parks and locations outside, you know, uh, shelters and things like people tend to know about these things. The food pantry, they get broadcast. But other than that, you know, from your heart and know that God's tension on the matter is enough. All right. So that was our devotion for today. I thank you all so much for doing this devotion with me. God bless. Take care. Bye.